Yo, what's up, great people? African travel again. And today I'm going to take you back to the Eastlands. The last time I took you to Pipeline. Uh, I also took you guys to Buruburu. Uh, we're taking you guys to a series of this area on the Eastland. And Eastlands has about 60% population of Nairobi. So this is where majority of the people live. And uh, technically Nairobi is usually divided to the west side and to the east side. So, so Westlands... Or the way OST, commonly referred to OST uh, by Nairobians, is where you find a lot of the cool kids. You know, if you mention you're from OST, people say you're the cool kid. Eastlands is where p- the people who really drive the economy. And without the Eastlands, there's no Nairobi. Because this is where the engine of the economy is. Going to start our trip with Donholm. So Donholm is still on the east side of um, of Nairobi, and Donholm is one of those areas on the east side of Nairobi, Eastlands of Nairobi, that are really, really having some beautiful mansions. And actually, for those who don't know, the name Donholm uh, was a dairy farm in the area, <laughs> and almost some of you didn't know that. So the, <clears throat> the name Den- Donholm came from a colonial Kenya plantation owner called James Carey Watson, who gave the name Donholm to his dairy farm in the area. So there used to be a dairy farm here, and Donholm has various estates which include Arambe, Sarko, Phase 5, Donholm, New Donholm, and Phase 8, which also holds various courts. So Donholm is, very, uh, is an estate that has really, really expanded over time. And yeah, a lot of stuff from it. So I hope you guys will enjoy. And yeah, don't forget to like, leave a comment. Please also subscribe. Thank you. Quick mat. Yeah. Steers is still around. Your steers here. The steers here has been here for many years. The liberate church don't know.
So guys, I raised the drone high and I hope I got a glimpse of so many areas. Kayole. I saw something like Gota City here, even though I don't really know Gota City. Shout out to my daughter and stupid boy and the gang, Gota City, the whole family. I hope I had a glimpse of your estate. And if you guys invite me to your estate, I'll be more than glad to come. there guys have you subscribed have you subscribed have you liked the video please if you're enjoying the video and your past this minute please uh, kindly like the video it really helps in the video and yeah, it really helps in terms of promoting the video to be shared widely and uh, yeah hope you guys will enjoy thank you so So, so Comarok Estate uh, mainly comprises of single dwelling mansionette and bungalows, although there are sections that have multiple dwelling apartments. The first four phases were started in the, in the year 1990 as a mortgage housing scheme that was developed by the Kenya Building Society, KBS, under the sponsorship from the then Housing Finance Company of Kenya. Uh, there are more than 3,000 housing units in the estate and they range from bed seaters to four bedrooms. House purchase price, nearly half of the houses within the estate have been rented out. Some homeowners to live in their own home, uh, the guys who bought the houses in the, in the, in the, in the 90s. Uh, strategically located within the estate are schools, numerous pubs, clubs, restaurants, supermarket, chemists, hospitals, saloons, beauty parlors, and hotels. So a few years ago, the rent was affordable, ranging from about 7,000 uh, to 15,000, but the presence of uh, Somali and Sudanese immigrants who are ready to pay any amount has prompted the homeowners to double the rent charges. To let up two bedroom houses today, uh, one has to pay about 14,000, up from 7,000 uh, some few years ago. Yes, so many Sudanese and Somali refugees who came back to Kenya live around this area, this estate actually. 
The purchase price of three bedroom mansion it is about 3.5 million, uh, while, while a one bedroom house costs 1.7 million. Uh, the distance from Coma Rock to Central Business District is about 18 kilometers. However, the journey may be long or short depending on the means of transport you use. So guys, as you wind up, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good time. Have a good, great evening. Have a great night wherever you are. And have a great morning if you're waking up. Beautiful. I'm one, I'm one.